pristine little braze nose mirror. Probably 12 or 13 pounds, I'd guess, this one. Loads of growing potential in these fish. They're going to get all massive one day. And uh, he obviously liked that plastic pellet. So we're going to get him back and get the rod back out there. This is the range of the new plastic hook baits, or fake food as we're calling it. So to talk you through them, first of all, the yellow flavoured. It's very important to note that you've got two buoyancies in each of them. So we've got slow sinking, not completely sinking, but slow sinking. So when there's a hook attached, the hook will lay flat on the bottom and the bait will just be bending up above. And then a pop-up version, obviously, so you can keep the hook away from any muck on the bottom. This one is IB, that's illegal, and I'll let you work out the other one. That's Ali's number one flavour. If he really needs to get a bite, an IB goes on. We've used it in our pop-ups for years, and now we've transferred it through into the corn. And you can see the different sizes. We've got the corn, obviously, to start off with, then the larger maize, then a small dumbbell, that's eight mil, and then a 12 mil dumbbell, and there will be a 16 mil dumbbell as well in all of the colours. So, slow sinking, pop-up, and then moving on to the white one, again, slow sinking those ones, and those are pop-ups. And the flavour on these is banoffee, which is a combination of different flavours, making it... Um... Oh, and I'm away. Well, how about that? Right in the middle of uh, talking about the banoffee, and uh, this is a banoffee on this left-hand rod. Um, just a single grain of the maize, slow sinking. I had a couple on this last night before I wound in to get some sleep. Um, and this is a flavour that you've seen me using. Oh, he's probably going for it now. You've seen me using at Gigantica. Caught some massive fish on this flavour combination. And just like all the other ones, we've transferred it into the plastic hook baits. So all those years of experience are contained within the range and we didn't see any point in just doing loads of different colours and loads of different flavours so we've kept it to a small range all of which have got a proven track record and we'll get loads of bites and it's important to use different colours uh, and different flavours obviously depending on where you're fishing how clear the water is how pressured the fish are how much they've been hammered on particular colours oh he's just doing me in some weed there And on this particular session, I've had bites on yellow, white, and pink. I've not tried the green yet. Uh, and I've also had bites on the uh, fishy dumbbells. Oh, he's getting fairly close in now. We'll get this one in and then show you the rest of the range. Come on, in you get. Got him. Another one falls to the magic of the Bonoffi. Well, that was a turn up for the books, getting a bite on the Bonoffi right while I was talking about it. So obviously that one floating and sinking in all the sizes. And then the next flavour down is an absolute classic squid and fruit with a little bit of sweetener in it as well in that bright pink colour. That's one of Damien's real favourites, that one. And it's caught loads of fish for us on this session. And then the next one is Citra Zing. That's a combination of three different citrusy flavours and some sweetener as well. And then this little fella is what we're calling fishy fish, a real pungent fishy combination for fishing over pellets. And what we've done, put some trout pellets in the edge, seen what they've looked like after a couple of hours, and they're that sort of washed out colour. So that's going to blend in perfectly with them. Perfect for fishing over beds of pellets and in PVA bags as well. And that comes only in the pellet shape, not in the corn shape, and in the two sizes you can see here, and the bigger one as well. And then finally, we've got unflavoured. So the yellow is going to come in slow sinking and pop up unflavoured, so you can put your own flavours on them. And as you can see here, we've got extender stops to match all of them so that they pull up inside the bait. You can't see the hair on the end of the bait and it looks as much like a natural free offering as possible. So that's the range. Let's have a look at the rigs to fish them on.